Promise you, son of a bitch! No! What the? Oh, you motherfucker. Hi guys, I'm Captain Deadmeat. Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Walking Dead Season 1. If you haven't had a chance to see the previous episode, I will leave a link in the description below. If you haven't been enjoying the series, why not give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Still trying to reach that 365 subscribers in 365 days. So if you know of anyone who might be interested, please share it with them. A friend, a family member, or just some random stranger on the street. Well, in the last episode, we left Lee in a little bit of trouble. He'd been betrayed by one of the members of the group and was left for dead. Let's pick it up now and see if he's going to survive. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. I'm not letting somebody else get in today. Especially a good friend. Let's go, buddy. Oh, shit. It's a lot of zombies. Motherfucker. Oh, I am going to beat him senseless. After all I did to get him the pills, and the bastard goes and does that to me. They're dragging behind the vehicle for the zombies to eat. Bye, Mom and Dad. Ooh, someone shooting. Let's talk to Glenn. Hey, Glenn. All right, let's see. What are we doing? Shit. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's uh -huh, Of course. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta go, you gotta go, buddy. Do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Everything will work out all right, Glenny boy. At least for a while. At least for a while. Bye, Glenn. Miss you, buddy. All right. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Damn straight. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. We'll do it right. All right, let's have a chat with Doug. How you doing, Doug? Dougie boy. What you got for us? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. I'm sorry, Doug. It's okay. 
Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. She had a gun. I figured she still had ammunition. Let's go and see how my baby Clementine's doing. You're a dead man. Super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. Clementine. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. Fuck you That's too. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. Hit him. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Oh. I'm hey, so going to punch him in the face. Do you have a second? Of course. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead. Yeah, your dad also because tried to me. lock me in the bloody room. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. It's you not that guys, defensible. I think it's going to be okay. You have to be in huge barriers. <laughs> uh, lights just went out. We're screwed. To be continued. Telltale Games presents The Walking Dead. That's gotta be zombies. Oh no. That is late. Three months later. And we're asking questions! Oh yeah! We're getting good at that. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> Bunny rabbits! Well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly <laughs> a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting <laughs> to lose it. He's not the only one. Apple pie. Why don't you cut him some slack? Warm yeah, apple pie. Right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. 
Let me know it's important to keep the adult spirit in functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I uh, sure You mean so. like the old man? He's probably sitting yeah, around on his ass don't fuck all? Kenny and Lily fighting all the time. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, well... Because sooner or later I'm going to give it to his daughter. Larry's just... Uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't yeah. he punch you in the face one time? Yep. Uh, knock me flat. But I got an axe. So next time, I'm going to ask him a question. Bird! Get it! We need a bow. I wouldn't bother. Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Ah, oh, come on. Shit, was that Kenny? Oh, that didn't sound good. I don't know. Come on. I don't think that was Kenny. I think that was someone else. That way. Go! Zombies, zombies, zombies. Ah. Jesus Christ. Someone in a bear trap. Oh shit, no, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Hey, this is fucked up. We gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Uh oh. Please, we got company. Altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Uh, we got problems. Walkers. Now or never, Lee. Please get me. Uh huh. Mark, we have to cut his leg off, aren't we? Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh God, please save him. This is bad, really bad. There has this to be a way out of this. All that blood and screaming, we're gonna be surrounded any minute. Please. You have to get him out. You get have to. Out of this. Sorry, buddy. Jane. Oh God, I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no. Tie the trap again. Let's go. Anything, let's go. Please. Sorry, bud. We don't have time. Has to be now. Oh my god, this is so gross. Hang on there, bud. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Last one. Oh god. Shit. Is he? <laughs> he passed out. He'd be fine. Let's go. Zombies are coming. The zombies are coming. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on. We got to move. Yeah, Travis. Come on. 
Travis is gonna get eaten. Bye, Travis. The Walking Dead. Oh, we just lost Travis. That's alright, we didn't know Travis. Grumpy old man. Something in the bushes. It's us. Ta da! Wait for it. Don't pull that trigger. Open. We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, hell are these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I'm I can do. I'm fine. I'm fine. Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible oh, for please, every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. Yeah. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Oh, man. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Man, I'm gonna beat that guy so hard. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> So I've got to give food to people. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. 
But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Blade, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alright, so she seems pretty calm and cool. I might use the food to quieten down the group. Hey, Doc. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? It should. We'll have to wait and see. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. Take it <laughs> easy, Doug. You All truly. Right. All right, let's check in with these guys. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kaja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. All right, uh, let's give him some food. Here, Larry. Give him the jerky. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. What's that? What's that for? Oh, that, that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. Uh, all right, who else have we got to talk to? How you doing, Clementine? Kids. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when... Everything happened. Everything went to shit. How you holding up, kid? 
Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Relax. All right. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now, Except you have no food. Keep an eye out. Fine. Alright. I'm going to go and talk to Kenny. And use the food to smooth him over. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Give me the apple. This. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Alright, let's give the food to the boy. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Doc? No. <laughs> probably no. not. No peanut butter. Uh, Alright, so I've got two portions of food left. I reckon he's pretty good. Let's give her some food. Here. I don't want anything from you. Fine, donate it. Give it to someone who'll appreciate the food, you little bitch. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Save the last piece of food for someone else. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Better look after Clementine, I think. Here, Clem. You need Got something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Gotta look after her.
Not such an easy job, is it? I think I did pretty well. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kitty, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. That's their problem. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? Uh -oh, go he lost too much blood. God damn it. Oh. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. He's got that blow some steam brought, off. I tried, blow some steam. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh no! <laughs> get off, 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 get off! Well, that's it for this episode of The Walking Dead Season 1. Looks like no one's safe around those pesky zombies. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the episode, why not give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I would love to hear from you guys what you think of the game. Am I making the right choices? Would you have chosen differently? So please let me know in the comments below. Until next time guys, thanks for watching and have fun.